Now Punko plays El Forte. I, I, I didn't actually realize this. I don't know if I've seen this El Forte before. I have seen it, and it's pretty nasty. There are some clips on YouTube of him doing some really nasty stuff online. Well, I'm very excited now. I mean, Punko is an execution monster, so he can land hard stuff. He, he can do execution even when he's laying down with his face on the table. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Pretty close round one so far. A lot of scrambling going on. Everybody trying to find that perfect spot to get positioning. Oh. Oh, nice back dash. I like that. And you're going to see a lot of this between these two characters. Tons of scrambling. And really, honestly, just looking for the Oki to get their often started. It's very two very active characters while I get in there. Get their knockdown, start hit their buttons. And it's strange, you guys see a lot of El Fuertes here in NorCal. And Pugo actually plays surprisingly calm for El Fuerte, I feel. Oh yeah, Ultima and Nando are another our other um, Fuerte brothers. Like that was actually a smart block string and then a chase down with a Q bomb and oh my god, just does the Q bomb again and finds a stun. That was a quick second round for Punko. That was less than 20 seconds, that was 19 seconds. Math. Yes, I can do some subtraction. Damn. Crack me. I know math. All right, we're right back in there. Now, Tomfing never really got his uh, pressure going, uh, so we'll see if he finally gets a knockdown, how this transitions, and here we go. Yeah, didn't quite get that. Uh, I think he was aiming for the cross of Fierce. At least that's what it was Such good pressure. That's, that's why you don't press buttons after you get hit by the Thunder Knuckle. He's plus. <laughs> yeah. Punko, though, finally has some meter to work with. Makes El Forte much more dangerous, but oh, just a little too late this first round. I mean, these are all very, very quick rounds, but then they're both very, very explosive players who can get damage very quickly. Oh, I just, you see that Q-bomb is so liberal. You gotta be, though. You're, you are Forte. If you're not liberal with all your tools, and it, of course in moderation, then you're not playing the character to his strengths. Oh, okay, but gets out of the corner. Great use of armor from both players. Wow, that was really impressive by both of them. To have the, uh, the those responses in those uh, those moments, that's really difficult. Punko really putting on the pressure though, staying close. Great use of run stoppages to keep the distance very close. And the conversion, oh, a little too late, and that should be the round. That sucks. Punko even kept the execution simple there, not even doing fierce. I actually thought that he was going to go straight for a raw ultra just to be safe and get the win. Instead, he opts to do the combo to build some meter. That's some confidence right there. <laughs> oh, big meter burn right there. And Punko getting a big advantage this round, especially with that light blade. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Okay, that was very, really, really close. I thought it was going to get that level two. Oh, my God. Great use of every tool Forte has, mixing up every option. That was just a good reaction. He was ready for that. He had a pump. I mean, like, Forte players on their wake up, they're always going to have at least that button held down. 